How y'all doing? I want to welcome y'all to Strawberry Space, where we discuss transgender related topics. So the topic today we are discussing is Olympian star Aliyah Green. Now, Aliyah Green is a 29 year old rugby Olympian. He's from Australia, actually. And um, he came out, I think, at the Bingham Cup tournament. August 16th as transgender. He's a transgender man who has won world championships and he is a gold medalist. So I'm going to play the snippet of him right now confessing everything that, you know, he went through in women's rugby with the safety concern and performance advantages and how he came to terms accepting and, you know, really priding on himself and not being ashamed so take a look continue to live the rest of my life in the identity in the body that i i should have and that's a really difficult thing to do in this time of day i mean all you have to do is turn on the tv look on social media platforms and you can see the amount of bullying harm and discrimination that goes on about gender identities it's extremely harmful. So for someone to be open and honest about that um, to the public eye is absolutely daunting. This is the first time that I have been so open to talk about this. And the main reason is because I am so worried about the reaction of people or will people treat me differently? Will friends or family love me any less, you know, are people going to get a shock? Um, you know, what will, what will the media say about me? And the thing is, even without changing genders, changing appearance, identity, people are always going to have something to say, whether that be positive or negative. And I've learned that in 10 years of being a professional rugby player. So why not just live the rest of your life exactly as you want to be? So that excerpt was from Pink News. That's where I got my source from. And that video was from Canada via the Instagram, The Guardian. So according to Emerson, Green stated that the one thing that kept him positive was that he already planned his surgery uh, toward his uh, top. And, you know, he's going to go through with this. So it's great that he has a partner, Vanessa Turnbull Roberts, and their daughter. So it seems like, you know, everything that was not working so well in the past is a success now he also quotes in the interview saying that his mother always dressed him in girly outfits and he always wanted to make her happy so if she wanted him to wear a dress she would you know be happy when he wore it and but behind her back he would always wear his brother's clothes until he grew breasts so now that everything is changed over he is now, you know, a veteran in the Olympic world, and now he is peace. Now he's at peace. So it's safe to say that um, after six years, it's nice that Green can finally be himself. My love um, for sport began very young. I very quickly knew that I loved running so much. What motivated me the most um, growing up as a kid was the role models that I saw on TV and on YouTube. You know, these idols kept me dreaming and I wanted to be exactly like them. So I was born in the beautiful islands of Fiji um, and I was very lucky to um, get adopted by my beautiful parents. Starting school off here in Australia was um, a little bit difficult because obviously it was a, a huge cultural change coming from Fiji. My brother and I were, um, you know, one of the only kids that were of colour in the school, so I'm not going to lie, it was pretty tough. Did get bullied a lot. One of the ways that I found myself fitting in making friends was actually through sport. 
Yeah, so my first ever 100 meter race, I can just remember running and feeling so free. The part I loved most about it was that I was good at it. My mum called me licorice legs sometimes, you know, she'd say, those licorice legs can move bloody fast. Ella, you run and don't look back. My mum really encouraged me to never settle for second best in my career from a very young age. She said to me, um, Elia, you can be the greatest athlete. It's all up to you and how hard you want to work for it. So this says a lot because his story is remarkable. I just want to let y'all know, a side note, upon making this video, my transgender men and women of Strawberry Space, there is no better role model than him. Because he is the epitome of a perfect example. Just to shed some light on him. I like that he's not changing his name. He's just changing his image. And I think upon being adopted, that has built his foundation. Because there is not one picture that I can find upon doing this video that has him without his daughter. It's either his daughter or his wife. He's definitely... Uh, faith-driven and family-oriented. So in conclusion, be who you are, let it work for you, and find a support system that will lean on you and look for love along the way. This has been Strawberry Space, and thank you.